G'day there YouTube viewers. Welcome back to Organic Power. Thanks for tuning in. Another beautiful day to be making free energy straight from the sun. This video is about my pre-charge board. I'll go through the circuit wiring, show you how I built this unit. It avoids having a large inrush into your inverters and MPPTs when you close your circuit breaker. This prolongs the life of the unit and your switch gear. So stay tuned, I'll show you what it's all about. To make the pre-charge board, I've installed these components on a piece of fire retardant plywood, the same as what's used in the off-grid setup. Got a 200 watt 30 ohm resistor, start-stop station, some navigational lights, your starboard and your port. And this unit called an A30 controller. So it's just a voltage sensitive relay. So the relay closes at a preset voltage you determine by pressing the keys here. We'll go ahead and take the cover off and we'll show you what's inside. I changed the red button for this telemechanique on off switch. This is uh, the only switch I had that would fit with the rest of the internals. So I'll take the cover off now and you can see how tight it is and why I had to use that switch gear. If you've got any friends or relatives that might be interested in getting into solar, send them a link to my channel. They might be interested in a few things we've done here. Give them a few little ideas. There's a lot of different options out there. Grid tie, off grid, hybrid. There's a lot to learn and it's all coming up in the next 10, 20 years. The start of the pre-charge circuit is here with the power cables. You go into your battery, clip on your negative, then clip on your positive. And the gauge there just gives you a good reference. You can watch the voltage climb. That's uh, it slowly feeds in. It's quite handy. I charge up those caps so you don't get a huge inrush of current and a massive arc. Puts a lot of stress on the caps and will burn the terminals or contacts in your circuit breaker. This totally avoids any of that. It's nice and safe, very smooth. You spend a lot of money on your equipment and you want to look after it. It's not much to build this board. Definitely a good investment. So thanks guys for hitting that join button and becoming a member. With your support, I can continue making fresh content. It's the only way I can do it really. It takes me a lot of time to produce all of this. I'm a stay at home dad, so I'm looking after the kids and are doing this in any spare time I have. So thanks guys, really appreciate it. There's so many options coming out. In the world of solar now, hybrid, grid tie, off grid. The next uh, 20 years is gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be the way of the future. No moving parts, a couple of cooling fans in the units. You got your wind farms they're good they provide uh, power at night but a lot of maintenance a lot of moving parts they're building them in the ocean so uh, they're going to rust it's going to cost a lot of money so i'm not sure about the wind yet i've 
worked on a uh, wind farm, so I don't hate wind. We're installing towers down in Portland. It's a, it's a fairly good system, but I think this solar is the way to go. No, very little noise, very little maintenance. All right guys, take it easy. Thanks for watching.